Otto's Tales, story time brought to you by PragerU Kids. I'm Jill, and today, I can't find my storybook anywhere. I have looked all over the place. Otto, do you know where my storybook is? Yes, okay. Thank you. This is a nice hat that looks like George Washington but it's not my storybook. Is this a hint of some kind? Yes, okay, okay, we're playing a game. Uh, well, if you, oh, look at that. Well, it's a painting of George Washington. Yes, Otto, this is a very famous painting that's an important part of our American history. Is this another hint? <laughs> yes, okay, I think I'm beginning to understand. You want me to read a story about George Washington and that painting. Yes, okay, and then you'll give me my book if I promise? Okay, it's a deal. You got it. Thank you, Otto. I knew he was up to something. Let's read Dolly Saves President Washington. Once upon a time, in the month of August, in the year 1814, in the capital city of the United States, there was panic on the streets, in people's homes, and even inside the president's White House. It was the War of 1812, and the British Army had returned to try and take back America years after it won its freedom from Britain's rule. Thousands of soldiers in red coats had landed nearby and were making their way towards Washington, ready to attack the city in the days ahead. Families loaded up their wagons with everything they owned to flee for safety. Everyone was trying to escape as quickly as they could, men, women, and children, but not Dolly Madison. Dolly was a lady with quiet strength and confidence, known for her manners and grace. She was the wife of James Madison, the fourth president of the United States. Dolly loved her country and took her responsibilities as first lady very seriously. Her husband, after all, was one of America's founding fathers and helped write the United States Constitution. With British troops fast approaching, President Madison felt called to lead. Dolly, he anxiously approached his wife, I must join General Winder of our U.S. Army and will return in the next few days. I'm depending on you to take care of yourself and America's important documents. Will you be all right until I come back? I have no fear but for you and the success of our army, Dolly replied. President Madison began his journey. Over the next few days, Dolly resolved to keep calm and tend to her own duties. Be mindful of these important papers, Dolly instructed, as she and a few of her servants pressed stacks and stacks of important government documents into trunks. Dolly had to be ready at a moment's warning to leave the city, for the enemy now seemed stronger than was first reported. She was scared, but she carried on. With the help of the few who were with her at the White House, Dolly began packing as many valuables as she could load onto carriages. The more she bustled to and fro inside the house, the more frequently she noticed the grand painted portrait of the great general and president George Washington. Dolly admired the painting, not only because it was a skillful showmanship of the artist who painted it, but because it was a symbol of how America fought for and earned freedom from Great Britain against all odds not too long ago. The next morning, Dolly awoke and turned her spyglass out her window in every direction with hope she'd see her husband returning. James Madison was nowhere in sight. Instead, she saw military groups wandering in the hot summer sun. In the distance, she heard cannons. Mrs. Madison! Two messengers covered in dust approached the house. You must flee! The British are near and they are coming here to set fire to this house. The time had come, but the first lady refused. Dolly took her responsibility seriously she had already loaded her home's valuables in wagons. She had already packed America's important papers, just as her husband requested. But there was yet one thing left to do. French John, young Paul, 
Dolly called for her trusty servants. Save that picture if possible. She pointed to George Washington's portrait hanging on the wall. If not possible to save it, then destroy it. Under no circumstance allow it to fall into the hands of the British. The men nodded and got to work. They tried with all their might to remove it from the wall, but the frame was so heavy and unscrewing it from the wall was proving to be too difficult. They were running out of time. Outside, the noises grew louder. If you must break the frame, please do. We must remove the painting, Dolly pleaded. She was scared on the inside, but looked calm on the outside. Mrs. Madison, we must flee now. It was Mr. Carroll, a longtime friend. I will not leave this house until the portrait of our dear President Washington is rescued from being destroyed by the British. Mrs. Madison, there is no time. Mr. Carroll was not amused. In fact, he was quite angry, but Dolly stayed committed to her duty. At last she cried, it is done. The precious portrait was removed and placed into the hands of two gentlemen from New York for safekeeping. With hasty relief, Dolly swiftly escaped the White House with her servants and friends before the British army arrived and set the president's house ablaze. Everything was destroyed, but thanks to Dolly's courage, America's most important documents and the painting were rescued. Not too long after that, the War of 1812 ended, the president's house was rebuilt, and America continued to be free. As for that portrait of George Washington, it was returned to the White House, where it still hangs today. The end. Wow. You know, now I understand why Otto wanted me to read this story. It's a lesson about staying calm and thinking clearly in a very scary situation. And the best part about it is the story is also true. This really happened in our country's history. Dolly Madison loved America and she's the one who saved the original painting that is still on display in our United States White House. You happy about that, Otto? <laughs> yes. Good job, buddy. You know, Otto, I owe you a thank you because this is a story that everyone of all ages should know and remember and celebrate. And, you know, Maybe we should hang up that portrait of George Washington somewhere around here. Yeah? All right, let's get to it. Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and remember to keep calm and carry on with courage. <laughs> Bye guys. Good job. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.